Welcome back. Let me fix the frame. All right, we're going to see our ending of Beyond Two Souls. We might finish it in this video or the next one. Let's see. We're alive. Yeah, but there's a problem. She died, and she got disconnected from Aiden, and they're not reconnected. Mm -hmm. So she's finally split from Aiden for good. There's nothing connecting them anymore. Maybe. Yeah, but I didn't. Maybe. Shit, man. I didn't. Oh, no. Nice cabin. Damn. Next to a nice lake and everything. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. And it fried your brain? Now it's eating away at my mind. Hmm. Erasing what's left of it. Like she said before, she was torn between my two worlds. Are all confused. Slowly self destructing. So, what, early onset Fade Alzheimer's? Is that it? You wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. That's not good. I no longer know what happened before or after. Hence the reason the game is all split up. It's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. But all the scenes are disjointed. The chaos of images with no order. Hmm. Interesting. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Writing it down. Her story. Trying to put my life down on paper. You could totally write a best-selling book about all that shit. If I forget everything. <laughs> these pages would be my memory. Three months after One time I started a movie called Inception. It was really confusing and convoluted. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Nathan. 283 lives. that the authorities are working hand-in-hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. A new Skygina? I know they'll never abandon their experiments. Now that they know it's on the other side. Nothing good. Honestly... <laughs> Nothing good is. I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. I guess you didn't want him gone quite so much as you thought. As long as I can remember. I dreamt of living without him. Mm. Not I'm what you tired. thought, is it? Without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. <sighs> Cole! We saved him. I couldn't let Cole die. No way. 
He was like the character that throughout the whole game was just good the whole time. He never became an asshole, ever. Unlike Nathan. Nathan wasn't so much an asshole, he was just... He let grief just totally d destroy him, basically. Like I said before, it's a fucking tragedy. The little princess! Oh. He knows that she's okay, that's all that matters. He knows that she sent that and that she's in a good place. He doesn't have to worry. <laughs> that's great. It took months. Months of nothing passing by. Of just hanging out. When I woke up. Skipping stones. Time. time to start again. To build a new life. You still got that check from the CIA? I'm sure that helped. Okay, so here's the second decision that really changes the ending again. <laughs> I could go with... I spend my life with Ryan. Spend my life with Jay, which I don't even know why they're giving me that option, because I didn't like Jay, and I don't see why anybody else does. Or I could spend my life with Zoe. Remember her, the homeless woman? Or no, Zoe's the daughter of the homeless woman who was named Eliza. Or I could just be alone with myself. Ugh. <laughs> Shit. The Ryan ending is good. I like the Ryan ending. It's happy. It's a happy ending, pretty much. The J ending is god-awful. Nobody should pick the J ending. And, uh, the Zoe ending's okay. And the alone ending is good. So, again, I'm in a position where I could really pick any of them, and I'd kind of be happy with the outcome. Uh, at this point, it's between going it alone and going it with Ryan. Ryan was, uh, you know, alright. Sure, he lied but about the CIA thing, but that was his job. He's alright now, and he seems like he's straightened out a bit. But really, I would think that she went through all that traumatic shit. Seeing Ryan would just remind it, her of it all the time. That's the way I think of it. Every time she looks at him, she's like, oh yeah, remember the time that we were uh, chained up in an underwater base and you were having, you were being tortured and had your eye taken out? <laughs> Fun memories, right? Uh, I don't know. Do I do the same thing again where I press both buttons at the same time and see what happens? Uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna actually make a decision this time. I'm going it alone, fuck it. So obvious. I'm a Keep loner. I, I always knew. I'm better alone. I just needed the silence around me. To hear what I was feeling. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> We've been through too many difficult times together. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Times I want to forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he understood. That he'd wait as long as it takes. You're going to be waiting a while. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough. Sorry, Ryan. But hey, he didn't die or anything, so... And now her journey begins. After all I've been through. Hell, who wants to live a normal life anyway? Yeah, what the fuck does normal mean anyway? Friend, job, counting the days till my next vacation. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I wanted it for so long, but I finally realized that that life wasn't for me. So I took to the road. I've seen many rifts to the other side. Hundreds of them all over the country. Whoa, ghosts. Homes where strange things happen. Whoa. Hotel rooms that no one ever wants to sleep in again. Entities are all around us. They live in our houses. They sleep in our beds. They're with us every second. Every day, I know they're lurking in the shadows. Wow. <laughs> 
This is a good ending. I like it. Like I said, the other ones were good too. What kind of old ass TV is this? That, that, what, what century is this? Come on. Look at that TV. Oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Still here. I did. He came back to say hello. You don't know how much I've missed you. They're together again. They don't have to be together, but he came back. Pretty awesome. Whoa. When I see things at night. Terrifying things. Foreshadowing a sequel. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. It's the ghost apocalypse. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. She should put on a proton pack. <laughs> Fight entities. That's what the sign says right there. That's what is about to happen. Wow. I've died twice already. <laughs> That's pretty badass. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. The end. In the memory I'm of some guy that passed away, unfortunately. Next time, I'll kill Eddie. Ellen Page. Willem Dafoe acted his ass off in this. He did an awesome job. So did everybody. Everybody did a great job, really. That was a crazy ass scene. <laughs> that was beyond two fucking souls and I have to say I love this fucking game there's a lot of people that shit all over this game for some reason they say oh there's not enough gameplay oh there's a couple plot holes oh, nah, nah, nah. fuck you this game is awesome heavy rain was awesome and this game is also awesome I recommend it to everybody that loves these type of games as I do if you loved Heavy Rain, you'll, you will most likely love this. I would be shocked if you loved Heavy Rain and hated the hell out of this. That just wouldn't make sense to me. Anyway. Let's see here. Can I skip this? Can I? No, it doesn't appear that I can. Alright, well, I want to thank all of you for uh, watching this walkthrough. I hope it was uh, interesting. I hope I didn't bore you, and I hope you play this game because it's full of great acting, great scenes, amazing music, scenes that really hit you in the gut and make you feel something, which not a lot of games can say. The game is, uh, uh, it's really something. I have to recommend it to everybody. Do yourself a favor, play this at least once. Although with all the different endings, it's definitely got replay value. Okay. That was Beyond Two Souls. All I have to say is that this game was great. And so are you for watching my videos. Thank you very much.